Hi there, I'm Ellie from Smart Apps for Kids and I'm going to show you a demo of what this app looks like on the inside. When you've seen enough, click this icon at any time during the video to read more about it or to download it from the App Store. Here we go. The title page of the app that you see in front of you with all of these little tiny rotating objects might have a form that's familiar to a lot of you. It's actually a periodic table app called The Elements, a visual exploration. And it's one of those apps that truly demonstrate how iOS devices can be used to make often dry subject matter spectacular and entertaining. Before we go and look at The Elements, there is a song. Let me tap the song. <laughs> I'm going to press skip so we don't give the whole song away. This song but by Tom Lira is a classic and it's one of the favourites at my house. I need to let you know right now that I am not a scientist. I didn't do chemistry at high school or at any stage. I'm a musician and a teacher, but in my later life I've become a lot more interested in rocks and elements and the world around us, and I find this app absolutely fascinating and entertaining to use. Let's go in and have a look. I'm tapping the introduction. Now this might look very dry and boring to read, but it really is not. It gives you an overview of what the periodic table is and how its layout works. If you had a bad experience with chem class in school, this app is going to be the antidote to that. And if you know someone who's afraid chemistry is going to be their most boring subject this year, this app will change their life. Right, that might be a bit much, but let's go and have a look. Now, if I press the home button down the bottom, we can go back and we can start all the way over here at number one for hydrogen. Now, here we have some information, the crystal structure here, and I can spin this, make it spin nice and fast. In fact, this whole app is full of very, very razor sharp photographs which can be rotated in a complete circle. Let's have a look if I press forward here. Now, here is a very entertaining way to read and learn about hydrogen. And each of these, if I tap this one, soap bubbles filled with hydrogen gas, will give you a little video. <laughs> are lit with a candle and a little explanation as well. Each of these are completely rotatable. So let me tap this, this mineral specimen for you and I'm about to spin it. And you can spin it, you can pinch it to make it bigger. So you can see all of its detail. Look at that. Look at the detail and look at the smooth rotation. This is beautiful. Now there's another way you can view it. Down here is a 3D option and it's got the help which tells you that if you have 3D viewing glasses you can see this in 3D or some people can do it free viewing with their eyes. I certainly can't. I had a try and my eyes went all cross-eyed. So have a look. It splits into two pieces and you can spin it and if you have the glasses it will leap out of the screen at you and you'll be spinning a 3D object. Awesome! All of these objects give you an idea of what hydrogen is used for, where it's found, gives you a lot of detail into each element and lots of it makes it easier to remember details about them. Here's helium, let's go on. I'm pressing forward through here. Let's go. Here's lithium, just so you can see. If you're not certain how to pronounce it, you can press up here. Beryllium. And now I know it's called beryllium. And down here it shows you what percentage of it is found where. Not a lot of it in the sun, not much of it in humans either. 
more details. Boron. And here's carbon, the diamond. My daughter looked over when I was having a look at this and said, what is that? So we had a discussion about diamonds being girls' best friends. And here it is, so sparkly in its 3D-ness. There's 23% carbon in humans. How about that? I'm going to press forward and have a look here. It says carbon is the most important element of life, period. Up here is a block of graphite. And just to show how clear this is, look at that when it spins. You can even see the little scratches on the glass case. I can pinch it bigger and it's still crystal clear. Let's go on. Nitrogen. Okay. Now each of these descriptions here, they're really readable, they're engaging, they've got humorous quips which will help learners to remember some of these details without even having to try. Age. Here's oxygen. I loved this. Look at this. This is oxygen. I remember this because I've learned it from the app. This is oxygen when it is at minus 183 degrees Celsius and it turns into a pale blue liquid. Isn't it beautiful? And if we go back it tells you all sorts of things. I like this one too because there are so many collectors that have each element in their collections. And look, it's an empty bottle or a seemingly empty bottle for oxygen. So each element has two pages. The first page with a big rotating image and a bit of information about it. Well, a lot of information about it. Where it sits on the element table periodic table, here it is, there's sodium, number 11, and when we press here, we go to an information page, but I didn't know that sodium is the most explosive of all the alkali metals. If you throw it into the water, it's going to explode, whereas sodium mixed with chlorine is actually salt, and you find it in water. That's amazing. The world is amazing. I'm just going to flip through so you can have a look. Here's a beautiful, beautiful picture of magnesium that's feathery crystal structure. Now this app is so chock full of information that it could be overwhelming at first glance, but if you take it in chunks and bites, and if you're not after specific information, you can just let it take you where it leads and see what you can discover. But if you are looking for specific information, you go to home and you can tap on any of these elements. Let's go to gold and have a look at the gold sample and say that would look lovely in my home. And you can get all the information that you need from it right there on one page, or two pages, sorry. This app is full of energy, intricately produced, and the whole thing is simply slick and fascinating, informative, educational, and spectacularly visual. This is an app for anybody who's interested in the elements, anybody who is doing chemistry at school, Anybody who has an interest in science, this is the way to learn it. Now don't go without clicking on our Smart Apps for Kids links for great reviews, free apps every single day and the best giveaways.